U Valley Radio, it's Robert McGill. Happy Wednesday morning. Today is your final chance to win a family four pack of passes to the Cardin International Circus at Uvalde County Fairplex. It's happening tonight. Those tickets are on sale at spectacularcircus.com. And I've got your final family four pack coming up soon. Matter of fact, we're going to do it right after we have a conversation with me on the phone, ringmaster for Cardin International Circus. It's Lucky Malazzi. Did I say it right? Did I say it right? <laughs> Oh, you definitely got it. You definitely got it. How you doing this morning? I'm great, man. Lucky. I, I love that your name is Lucky, first of all, because, you know, on all those uh, tight ropes and animals around, you got to be lucky, right? Oh, yeah. you lucky. You definitely have to be fun. And, you know, you definitely going to be excited. It's all about, you know, fun. Family fun. You know, we have performers from all over the world. I'm talking about Mexico. I'm talking about Brazil. I'm talking about Mongolia. I'm from South Africa. You know, it's a international circus for sure. And we're coming into you've all the opening night is tonight. So get your tickets early. Now, another thing we tell people, you know, in an hour early before you know, six thirty tonight. But coming around five thirty, you know, so you enjoy all of the rides that we have for the kids. We have face painting, we have elephant rides, we have the we have all these fun activities for you to enjoy prior to the main performance. So come on out and uh, I'm losing you, Lucky. Are you there? Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Uh, hear me? Oh, there you are. I got you back. Now, what was that last thing you said? Oh, I was saying that, you know, make sure you come on out. Come on down. We have a little bit of everything for just about everybody. And now make sure you come in an hour early before the show because, you know, we have all these spectacular rides, all these, you know, face painting for the kids to enjoy before the show. The show is a great show. Everybody gets to enjoy it. You know, it's not just for the kids. The parents get to have a good time. The grandparents get to have a good time. The aunts, the uncle. It's a family reunion type of show for everybody. Well, we are always excited when Cardinal International Circus comes back to Uvalde County. We do appreciate you guys uh, putting us in your itinerary year over year. Lucky, I want to talk about you, man, and your uh, your story within the circus. Uh, how long have you been ringmaster of the Cardinal International Circus? Oh, man, this is my third year with the Cardinal International Circus. And, uh, you know, uh, this is actually the only year that I'm just being the ringmaster. Oh, and also I get some people out the audience to participate, you know, in the in the show as well. So there's a lot of participation. Uh, usually I do uh, an apparatus called the Wheel of Death. Yes. Where, you know, it's like two hamster uh, balls and you rolling around, you jumping around, doing all kind of acrobatic tricks. Uh, this year I was like, hey, let me take a break on that. Let me focus on the art of entertaining the audience, being interactive more, you know, being the ringmaster. How long have you been doing circus performing? Um, you know, how many years in general? Oh, man, I started off, well, circus performing at the age of nine years old. Wow. But, um, I started uh, performing at the age of five years old. You know, he started, um, he started training and he an age and I started performing uh, so I was an acrobat I was a contortionist and once I joined a circus uh, at age 9 years old I saw all you know things that I could learn and that's what I uh, tried to do I tried to broaden my horizon and my talents so I did trapeze I did trampoline I did teeterboard you know I did a little bit of everything to where they were like man we tired of you taking everybody's job here's a microphone <laughs> and let's see what you can do with that and you know I just haven't stopped ever since even as a ringmaster I've always tried to you know interact be a performer because that's where my heart is you know it's not a job if you love what you do and I love entertaining I love performing I love seeing smiles on people's faces you know being a family man I just love seeing families come together and enjoy you know a certain activity and a family because it's hard nowadays man mm -hmm. for family to just enjoy anything together, just yeah. sit down, or even uh, agree on a movie. Yep. So, you know, circus is one of America's traditions, So, and I love that. I love seeing our families come together. Well, well, now again, we got Lucky on the phone. He's the uh, ringmaster for Cardin International Circus. Lucky, you say you've been doing this uh, since you were a kid. Um, what is it, What kind of training is involved, uh, especially when you're doing multiple roles like that? Do you spend a year or two doing one thing and then move on to the next thing until you, uh, you've you you know uh, amassed a whole lot of different skills, or do you train on them all at once? Oh, uh, man, you tr you, you're constantly training, so you're constantly learning. There's never a time when you can say, hey, I've perfected this art because you're constantly training. You always want to improve improve yourself. So, you know, that's what I've done. I've always kind of, you know, 
trained and trained. Even if I'm doing one thing, I'm always kind of try to perfect that art before moving on to the next one. So it's, you know, it's like uh, you train a couple of years, you work on that art, you try to perfect it, you know, you train on something else, but you always work on it with all, with your practicing and what you perform so you're constantly learning and you're constantly training especially in a circus you know and um that's another thing that's great you know with a circus you are a family so you always have people to help you out you know to broaden your talents to help you out where you can't see anything now I, I I know you're a family man. I think I went on your Instagram and I know you have yeah. of a daughter and uh, I, you made it sound like she might be a ringmaster in in training. Uh, tell me about family life in the circus and uh, tell me are your kids going to follow in your footsteps? Well, my daughter has that uh, talent, like you were saying. You know, she has that drive. She has that. Um, I want to be you know a ringmaster. I want to <laughs> follow after my you know, dad's footsteps. And um, it's simply amazing to watch, you know, because I always want them to have a choice. I have um, three kids. I have a, a three-year-old, I have a 15-year-old, and I have my nine-year-old daughter. So, you know, they, I want them to follow their heart and whatever they want to do. And uh, my daughter's the one that's more into, hey, I want to be in a circus. <laughs> now, you know, people always ask me, oh, what about their school? So we're very, very, very uh, strict when it comes to education. Um, so we travel on the road every day, of course, but every day they wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning, they got their classes from 6 a.m. until 12. So, you know, education is very important to me. So whatever they want to do in life, just as long as they got an education and something to fall back on, because you never know. You never know, you know, and especially being in the circus, this world will always be around, but your education will never be around forever. So lucky again, you are the ringmaster. Hopefully, you know, since uh, you, you know you're not up there uh, as much, that's keeping you a little bit safer. You mentioned you've been all over the world. Uh, give me some highlights. Some what are your, some of your uh, favorite places that you visited, and and what did you like about them? Oh man, I've been to China. I've been to Germany. I've been to Australia. Um, you know, I've been all over. It's it's fun traveling. Uh, you know, we've been all over these United States of America. I have to say, one of my uh. My favorite places to visit other than New York and Chicago, I had to say, um, it had to be China because of the life out there. It was, mm. It's always busy, busy. It's like nightlife, you know, because most of the time I had like three shows every day and that was like the six months. So the only time, you know, we got to get out was after our third show um, at night. You know, the shopping is constantly on. It's just like Tokyo. It's, <laughs> you know, the nightlife is just beautiful. Uh, people are loving out there, but I have to say I love New York. I love Chicago. You know, uh, I, I just Texas. I just love Texas as well because <laughs> Texas. Uh, my wife is um, uh, she's Hispanic, so whenever we come to Texas, she feels like home. You know, the food, of course. Oh, fantastic! I love, I love, you know, I love I love food. I love exploring different you know cultures. So that's you know that's another thing that I love about traveling. And another thing that's great with the Con International Circus is that you kind of wake up in a different zip code every other day. Yeah. So, you're, you know, it's, it's fun traveling. You get to experience different types of people. You get to meet different type of cultures. You get to explore these cities. And it, it's simply amazing. You know, I love it um, myself. And um, that's another thing I love about traveling. And that's why I love uh, sharing with my kids. Uh, I was traveling together. Because, you know, not everybody gets to do it. Yeah, family, no, for sure. You know, so that that's another opportunity that I love doing is traveling with my family all the time and experiencing, uh, experiencing all these wonderful things together. So that that's wonderful about traveling with the circus. I mean, what an experience for your kids to be, you know, kids, but yet, you know, when they're older, they can say, hey, I've been to New York, I've been to Chicago, I've been to uh, China, I've been to Texas. You know, the, so much life experience at a young age, that's just invaluable. Uh, again, we've got Lucky from the, uh, he's the ringmaster for Cardin International Circus tonight at Uvalde County Fairplex, and uh, you want to get there early and get in on all the uh, extra activities. Now, Lucky, we're going to talk about this. You guys are bringing some animals with you. There is always some hater out there that's all like, circus treats animals poorly and badly. But I don't know at the Cardin International Circus, uh, you definitely have ethical standards when it comes to the treatment of your animals. Let's talk about those animals. Well, uh, 
animals, these guys are part of our family. These are our family members, you know. And all the animals with the Carnival International Circus have been with the circus for over 40 years, like one of our elephants, Betty, you know, the horses, uh, we have the camels. And another thing is, you know, they are on the road, but once we get back home, which we just came back from a, um, an eight-week break, once they get home, the elephants have over 40 acres for them just to roam free. Mm. Uh, as far as the horses, the camels, they all have acres of and acres of, you know, land to where they are free to roam around. You know, they're free to have some fun. They're out there in the lakes, and they, you know, they're having fun. And even on the road, you know, we make sure that they are priority number one. They are family members. They've been with the Carnival International Circus for a very long time. And here's the question I ask everybody. What is a circus without Animal. Amen. That's right. Fantastic. Well, you know what? Uh, do uh, I know that I'm sure you have a little, you know, like you said, you're going to have relationships with these animals. They're part of the family. Uh, as far as you and your family goes, uh, do you have a favorite animal in the circus that you that you work with, that you spend extra time with, that you feed or, you know, like to pet or just show, show some love to? Is there a special animal that, that you want to give a shout out to? Uh, yes, uh, definitely. Uh, Betty. Uh, Betty the elephant. She is one of my favorites. The reason why is, you know, I'm five two, and so I'm not the tallest person in the world. And she, she's around, you know, my I wouldn't, wouldn't want to say my height, but she's a little, you know, I could reach her, you know, whenever we have to ride her. It's not that high as a uh, as Cindy is. Mm-hmm. Cindy is a bigger one, you know. But Betty's one of my favorites. I'm always feeding her. You know, she loves cotton candy. Believe it or not, you know, uh, especially uh, being in a circus, she loves cotton candy. So, you know, that's one of my favorite animals. My daughter's favorite animal is uh, the llamas, actually. My uh, my three-year-old, she loves the llamas. Every time she sees a llama, she goes crazy. You know, uh, so we all have a family. We all have a bond, you know, here at the circus, even with the animals. So it's simply amazing. It's simply fun. We tell everybody, you know, come out and enjoy it. Come out and just experience it. The circus, you know, when you come out and uh, watch the show, it's not just the show that you're going to watch, it's a show that you're going to experience because the love that we show as performers to the audience is simply out of this world. You know, it's not just somebody that's doing it just to be done, and we do it out of love of it. And uh, that's why, you know, we tour every year. That's why we tour every day. That's why we do what we do to, you know, bring smiles on people's faces to people that came you know, make it. And that's another thing that's awesome about the Carnival International Circus. Because the prices of the tickets are simply amazing. You know, they are only $20 for a limited time. Now, also for a limited time, if you go online, you could get your tickets for $9.99. Yeah. That's for adults. And, of course, we have the coupons with the kids' free tickets. So go out there in your local grocery stores. You will see those coupons going up. Those are the for kids' free tickets. The purchase of one adult ticket. So get your tickets. Come early, go to SpectacularCircus.com and get your tickets now. I've got one more comment. Uh, again, we got Lucky on the phone here. He's the uh, ringmaster for the circus coming tonight at Uvalde County Fairplex. Um, Lucky, I, I took a look at your Instagram. You have a very cool, unique um, look in your ringmaster getup, your gear. It's not like traditional, the traditional old school ringmaster look. It's kind of more modern. You got some flair. Uh, tell me about your, your particular style and what you bring to the circus as a, as a modern ringmaster. Oh uh, man, you know, first I have to, one thing I have to do is I have to thank my, uh, my 15 year old because, uh, you know, before when I used to take him to circus, before I be, you know, became the ringmaster, he was, he was like, man, that old, that look is so old, you know. <laughs> like, look at his shoes, like, he was like, you know. So I kind of picked up on that, and I was like, well, if I want to do this and if I want to move forward, I need to be able to engage not just the uh, parents. I need to be able to engage the kids, the teenagers that are coming up, you know, the kids that are growing up with my son, you know, and that's what I do. Even when I go shopping and sneaker shopping, I ask them, hey, what do you think these are? You know, with all these slangs, they're like, hey, mm-hmm. these are alpha, these are, you know, skivvy. I'm like, okay, good or no? That's, that's all I want to know. Is it good or no? So that's my whole uh, that's my whole look at my style, yeah. is to be able to attract, you know, the new generation and get them engaged. And, you know, a lot of people are kind of forgetting about circus. So that also, at the back of their mind, they don't think of circus all the old tradition. They'll be like, hey, remember that how cool that Rick Master look. Remember how yeah. that, uh, you know, how that suit looked, how those sneakers were. That was a cool look. I would want to go see a circus again. You know, that type of thing. So I'm trying to change the whole, you know, aspect of circus being 
old tradition. Uh, even uh, with the Carnegie International Circus, man, I've worked, you know, produce, I've helped produce it. So it's not just, you're not just going to be sitting down listening to some old classical circus music. No, we got the latest pop music, all the latest songs, you know, pop culture, even with the dances. It's all modern, so it's not just like you're going to come and watch a traditional three-ring circus. Oh, no, you're definitely going to have some fun. Awesome. I love that. Bringing the rich history of circus into the modern era. And uh, we're so excited to have you guys back in town tonight. Again, Lucky Malazzi of the uh, well, he's Ringmaster for Cardin International Circus. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We are so looking forward to everything tonight. And right now, actually, before I, I hang up uh, with you, we're going to take our third caller, 830-407-5137. We're going to give away a family four-pack of passes to the Cardin International Circus tonight. Third caller, again, call me at 830-407-5137. And Lucky, uh, like you said, tickets are on sale right now at SpectacularCircus.com, right? That's right. Two tickets now. Opening night is tonight. Well, we appreciate your time you spent with us. And uh, God bless you, sir. We'll see you tonight, okay? All right. See you tonight. All right. There you go. Lucky from the circus. This is Uvalde Radio.